What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video and I want to apologize I literally just woke up and I'm a little bit tired and I found something super awesome that I wanted to share with you guys so my voice might sound a little groggy so I apologize for that but um, there is a app that is in beta called Postbox. Now this app is seriously cool. Let's go ahead and let's launch it. Now when you first install this application you're greeted with the main home page here which is basically kind of like a curated news feed of anything jailbreak related um there is you know information from the reddit jailbreak there's you know uh, stories by i download blog uh, so that's pretty neat you know uh you know having a news feed with all the newest jailbreak information but what is cool about this application is it's pretty much a repo manager and it works without a jailbreak as you guys can see i have um, have it on my 12 pro max here uh, so you can add sources and repos to this application and also add you know tweaks and themes to a wish list there's a lot you can do with it um so i'm not going to go too crazy with this video i just wanted you guys to know that this exists and i've been using it for maybe 20 minutes now and i think it's absolutely awesome just because there's no jailbreak required, so you can basically have a repo manager um, and no jailbreak. And what is neat about this is we're actually, I'm going to go ahead and just switch to the iPhone 10 here, uh, which is jailbroken on iOS 14.3 with CheckRain. So it's neat if you don't have a jailbreak because you can pretty much have a library for all of the repos you ever get. And uh, what's nice about that is when you lose your jailbreak, you lose all of those repos in like Cydia and Installer. And it's super frustrating to have to constantly, you know, add repos back to Cydia or Installer or Zebra, whatever you're using. And what's nice about this application is it's going to store it for you in the app. So uh, if you have, you know, whatever repos you've added, you can quickly re-add them to Cydia now I installed this onto my 10 and it automatically detected sources that I have within Cydia. And I'm not sure how it did that, but it's pretty cool uh, that it automatically, you know, detected some of these, these repos and it, it added all of it automatically for me. Now what's cool if we go to, let's say, let's say we go into links to here. Now, as you can see, this is what the package looks like. Um, there's no information or anything like that. You can just click on get. And as you can see, you can open the package in Cydia, open it in Installer. So I have Cydia and Installer on this device. You can add the repo to Cydia, add the repo to Installer, or direct download. So you have all of these options in this application, and it's super, super useful. I can't stress how useful this is for having a centralized application to store all of your repos, maybe even a wish list of all the favorite tweaks that you guys like to use. For me, when I re-jailbroke this 10, I've actually forgotten a lot of the tweaks that I liked to use. Uh, like some of the main ones, I remember their names, but there's lots of little things that I forget about. And this would be incredibly useful to have all of the tweaks that I like to use listed in this application. That way, if I lose my jailbreak or re-jailbreak, when I come back into this app, I can quickly add all of those back into you know, Cydia or installer or whatever you're using. So it's just seems very functional to me. And you can view these repos just like you do on Cydia. So as you can see, we're going into the Spark Dev repo. I'm gonna go ahead and add the repo because it hasn't been added to the application yet. And as you can see, it has each of its sections broken down just like in Cydia. You have your tweaks section. You can go into the tweak. You can view the screenshots and the details about the tweak, its version. Um, price, developer, everything that's just like Insidia, except for you're on an application that requires no jailbreak. So this is seriously cool, guys. Um, I would recommend to download this now if you guys want to try it out. It is in beta, as you guys can see with the little dot there. So you will <clears throat> need test flight in order to get this. And a little heads up that if you get it now, in the appearance section, you can get a special icon for beta testers. So that's pretty neat that you can get that icon just for beta testing it. I'll leave the links you guys will need down in the description. Like I said, you will need test flight and then you can go ahead and click on the link in the description and it will allow you to install um, Postbox. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. 
Uh, if you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.